So now that we have a character class, we should go ahead and create an instance of character. Now, in our previous videos, we might have done that in view did load or another method inside of our view controller. However, we have this nice factory object that we've used to create all of our tiles. So it makes sense to continue to use this design pattern. So we're going to go ahead and make our character from our factory. So we're going to go to ccfactory.h and I'm going to go ahead and create a new method. And in this method, I want to return a character. And we are only going to have one character at a time in a game, right? And that's going to be the player. So I can go CC character and oh, the problem is I haven't imported. So just like we did in cc character.h, I'm going to want to import cc character.h into my header file. So in cc character.h, we had to import the weapon and the armor as we were using that type or class inside of the header file. I'm doing the same thing here. So now I can go ahead and type in cc character. And now this method is going to return a cc character object to me. And I can go ahead and just type character as the method name and add a semicolon. And now we have to go ahead and implement this method. So I can copy this uh, method name and go to ccfactory.m. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here and I'm going to put it below. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the semicolon and add curly braces. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to create our character object or instance. We can say character. And we can set this equal to an object. So we can do cc character alloc. Let's allocate some space and initialize our object. And now I'm able to, I now have a character object. So I can type at the bottom here, return character. And my method is complete. I no longer get an error. And I'm now returning an object or an instance of character. Now, before I return this instance, I want to set some initial values up for my character. So let's say my initial health is going to be 100, so we have 100 hit points. And I also want to set up my initial armor, so we can say, well, see character.armor, we don't have uh, an armor object yet. So I could create it here, or I could create it ahead of time, since there's going to be a bunch of things we're going to want to set for our armor, like its name and its damage. So let's go above this and type CC armor, and we can say armor. And we can set this equal to an armor object. So we can say CC armor, Alex some space, and initialize the object. And now we can say character.armor is equal to our armor object. And we can go ahead and give our armor a name. So we're going to say we'll start off with a cloak. And we should also give our armor an initial health bonus. So we'll say armor.health is equal to 5. And now my character has armor, it has a name cloak, and a health bonus of 5. There's one other thing going on here that might be a little confusing. And if we scroll to the top here, we see that we're only importing our tile. And if we go to the ccfactory.h, we see that we're not importing cc armor anywhere. So where are we getting this from? Well, cc character.h in its header file imports both weapon and armor. So now we now get access to both of those classes because ccCharacter.h has already imported that for us. So we can go back to ccFactory.m, and we'll scroll all the way back to our method. And the next thing we need to do is we need to give our character a weapon. So let's go ahead and we'll say CC weapon, weapon, and we'll say CC weapon, and we'll allocate it and initialize it. Next, we have to give our weapon a name. So we're going to say weapon.name is equal to, at quote, we can say, fists. So our character just starts off with the ability to fight with its, its fists. And we can also give our weapon some initial damage. So we'll say damage. We'll set it equal to 10. And finally we need to give our character the weapon. So we can go ahead and do character.weapon is equal to our weapon. So now we have created an instance method called character that returns a character object. And when we call this method on an on a, uh, instance of CC Factory, we'll be able to create an initial character that will have a health of 100, an initial armor of cloak with a health benefit of 5, as well as a weapon that has a name, fists, and a damage of 10.